As the human physical part of us, there is absolutely no escaping pain and grief, loss. That's part of our experience. And the root cause of, of this grief, this pain, this loss that is incorporated as part of the physical experience is based in the idea of separation. So our soul came to have the physical self-realization of the transformation of coming to the realization that really nothing is separate. We have chosen the human path for this integration through limitation, realizing nothing is outside of us. But when we are still attached to a belief system, composite belief systems based on in information of, in separation, we feel grief, we feel loss at the loss of losing a loved one in physical form or we may grieve the loss of even ideas and concepts we thought were true or that weren't fulfilled ideas um, basing our dreams uh, the way we thought life was going to turn out the way we thought life was going to be and when it doesn't materialize like that we feel grief we feel loss and a lot of it does come from an unconscious part of us and so this grief and this loss the sensation of it is to activate these beliefs to bring them to the surface so that we may clear them and heal them and then gain the experience on the physical level of of our unity of our connection of knowing so as a human, we can't really know something until we go through it and experience it. So the experiences give us the gift of actually knowing from the physical standpoint of our unity, of uh, our integration, of the experience of creating from the inside out and not the other way around. The outside gives us that physical sensation of separation. But at this stage in our ascension, we are really grasping and embodying um, and coming fully into the idea that nothing lies with outside of us. We are the universe and the universe is us. Nothing exists outside of us. We are God's source energy. God's source energy is the all and the all is one. So all of these experiences that we go through are just a transition or it's transcending or transforming a limitation that the physical body has taken form or has taken on that experience of creating this illusion this hologram creating this beautiful beautiful <laughs> web matrix of the mind in order to give us the physical sensation of our spiritual self so it all really really is a beautiful beautiful web intertwined of the illusion of physicality with the spirituality, our natural organic self that never leaves spirit, never leaves God's source energy, but created this idea of separation only to gain that wisdom and that depth through the experience back into spirit. So it does not make that journey any easier as a human as we have to go through the process of releasing and clearing and feeling and allowing all of this grief, all of these emotions based in beliefs for emotions. We wouldn't have emotions if they weren't based in some sort of belief. So the emotions that are causing this pain, well, it is a beautiful process in actually expanding the limitation that emotion was based in. and and. It can sound sometimes cold <laughs> to come from this perspective, but really when we come to the base and the understanding of why we experience certain things as a human and why we experience certain emotions, it does bring us greater clarity and understanding and helps us through that process. Humans are, are here to experience the emotion. That's what sets us different. <laughs> different than other galactic races because we have to go through that process. We have to go through the process of the experience of knowing thyself and coming fully into that. Even though we always were that, we came with that separation, that veil and thinking we're not only to come back into our self-empowerment, coming back into uh, trusting and guiding and knowing that all of our wisdom is truly truly within and nothing ever ever leaves us it is just a different perspective 
that we have taken on in order to gain the expansion and the wholeness and the unity and the light in that in that perspective which creates the experience our beliefs and our perspectives create and generate that projection into our hologram so we're expanding all of that we're coming into a fuller embodiment of that which we already are represented by the sun there behind me so be gentle with yourself and don't be hard on yourself because a lot of times we know these truths in theory but holy crap we came to experience the revealing of these truths, the embodiment through our process, through our human experiences. So if you are grieving loss in any way, shape, or form, embrace it and bless it so you may gain the expansion of that by they're showing me like a, a balloon blowing up, 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 and then popping to gain that expansion and freedom of that limitation, of that limiting belief. And then when we embody that, we no longer need to experience the pain and the suffering because we're, deep down we know there is no loss. Nothing, nothing exists outside of us. So be gentle, allow yourself to process because that's why you came. You can hear, you can hear a, a truth and, and know it's real, but until you actually go through it, then you embody that and then you can release release the um, physical sensations of the limitations. All right, guys, may you all shine with the entirety of all the love and light that you are. Pshaw.